Uh, let's have, we can have these archers kind of sit over here, ready to kill off enemies. Which, um, <laughs> the Warthogs have defeated the enemy and are now pursuing across the river. Okay, guys, welcome back. So just to quickly go over the campaign map, not too much has changed. Arbad has now started flipping to the ways of darkness. There was a teeny tiny bit of rioting and destruction. That's why these buildings are all damaged, and we're actually building up the next level, the Trials of Blood, as well. But, um... Yeah, we suffered some minor casualties. I already merged the units, and now I'm retraining the two that are damaged. Not too bad, though. And it's not going to happen again, because we jumped from, like, less, th well, like, 1% or 2% of Ways of Darkness to 36%. So we are converting them at a very quick pace. The same cannot be said of Swan Fleet, where I guess things have basically just kind of stabilized. Even though Ways of Darkness is slightly higher than Men of the West, or Ways of the West, it doesn't seem to be going up. Maybe it is, and I just haven't noticed, but obviously it's been quite a few turns and it's still not even at 10%. Though we are getting brawling contests here soon, so I think we'll be able to con convert them at a good pace here soon. And we definitely need it to be soon, because otherwise they're going to start becoming rebellious. Also, uh, just to make things nice and worse, I'm actually going to put a bit of pressure, I think, on Swanfleet and probably on Dol Amroth as well. Because I think I'm actually going to move uh, the invasion schedule forward just a bit and attack Pilargir now. Uh, we do have, not that, Lynn here. We have two turns to go before these three settlements are integrated into our empire. But I'm hoping we can just take one more settlement and not tip Dol Amroth and Swanfleet into Rebellion. Speaking of Rebellion, I'm not sure if there was some kind of rioting or something that occurred here at Dol Amroth. I didn't lose any men. But the Square of the Fountains was damaged, which was actually contributing to public order. Now, I don't know... Maybe that was just left over from when we took the place quite a few turns ago and I just didn't notice. But um, that, I guess, will hopefully improve public order a bit once it's repaired. Another thing that I forgot to do with the keeps is actually go for some provincial pacification on them. They didn't destroy the buildings like I normally would after taking a settlement. And I guess it's because I just forgot due to keeps and like forts not being able to like have a dominion building built up. Like you can see here, all I have is prov provincial pacification. And it's actually the Dunedain version. I can't help but notice. The same is true of some of these other forts like... Um, the Hold of Don Harrow here, which only has Provincial Pacification. I think that's all I can do here with these keeps as well, but I really still should do it. So obviously that's happening now. Uh, Ebba's army now has a Mercenary Swordsman unit, because after merging units, we basically lost one. And I wasn't going to have a bunch of understrength units when we're still facing down multiple stacks. And again, these guys could always turn around and come back as well. Um, definitely not going to send him back, though, partially because we're already sending an army back, and also because, like, the rest of his casualties are quite minor. Um, it was just the Dunlendian Guardians who suffered, like, tons of casualties, so hopefully just having a mercenary swordsman unit there to just kind of plug the gaps will be fine. Obviously, they are a fair bit inferior to the Dunlendian Guardians, but oh well. I am thinking of training up some Wolf's Oathmen up here, though, just to replace his Dunlending Guardians, or even to supplement them. I guess if I could get enough of them down here, I would just replace them with the Wolf's Oathmen, and then have the Dunlending Guardians maybe garrison Aldberg, and they can then replace the Wolf's Oathmen as needed. So, like, instead of recruiting a Mercenary Swordsman unit to replace a unit we would lose, we could actually use a Dunlending Guardian unit instead. Obviously, Boda's army is going to be replenished here somewhat soon. It's going to take him three turns to get to Dunhold, which is a little unfortunate, but... Oh well. 
Uh, hopefully, Ebba will be able to hold against any force that Adunabar throws at him, as hopefully will Karda up here. As hopefully will Lawa down here. Now, speaking of Lawa, he seems to be facing the most uh, terrifying forces at the moment. Well, actually, I guess this does not consist of the most terrifying forces. They do have a lot of archers, though, which is unfortunate. But not a lot of anything else. I think it's this force over here? Yes, this force is a little more terrifying. They have ballistas, obviously. But they also have uh, just higher quality units in general. I see guards of the tower there, as well as king's spearmen. And I imagine there's any number of terrifying units in some of these other forces here that could potentially join the battle. I see Alug High there. Catapults there. So anyway, that's why I'm basically pushing up the invasion schedule and having Lod attack Pilar Gear now. He has already built up the ladders. He can definitely do it. And basically, I then want to just immediately try and send him on to Arnak to besiege that place and hold it um, before they train up any more units there. And that way, he's also nice and close, so he can perhaps relieve Lawa if need be, and then Lawa can take over that siege. All right, and I think that's it. Not much of anything else to say here, so let's just have Lod go ahead and begin his attack. Oh, they actually have... That other unit was a ballista unit. I was wondering what it was. So it looks like we have the men-at-arms. The ballistas, I don't think, are going to be much of a threat behind stone walls. We should be able to just kind of kill them in the streets. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get right into the battle then. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. So the enemy has elected not to defend the walls at all, which is fine by me. So we're going to send our smallest unit forward here of Axemen just to hurry up and get them onto the walls as quickly as possible, especially considering the casualties they're about to suffer. And uh, then we can take the gate, do our usual... Um, I am going to remove the ladders from basically all the other units, though, since we won't be needing them. Kind of bringing these guys back over here. Oh, wait a minute. Get back over here, get back over here, get back over here. Why did you just drop all of your ladders? I mean, I know you lost a bunch of guys, but you still have enough for, like, one of those ladders. Okay, that was a little annoying. Um... All right, well, I guess in that case, we'll actually have these two units go forward with their ladders and take the walls. The reason why I'm sending two units now is just so that I, can, I guess I can divide up their fire a bit. That's also why they're coming up on an angle here, so hopefully they don't get shot by the other tower. It's basically just this one tower that could do all of the damage. You guys get back here. So you mercenaries can get over here as well, since we will probably be using you to actually attack the ballistas. But probably not to attack those guys, because that would just mean you would all die. What are you doing? Get over here. I told you to go to this wall, not this one. But what are you guys doing? This wall. Here. This one. Also, I think that tower is actually perfectly capable of firing in both directions, and I'm just taking extra casualties for no reason. Alright, well, since you guys are useless, you can just drop your ladders and leave. But really, I don't think they helped at all. Filthy Dunedain. All you had to do was put a ladder up against a wall, and you couldn't even be bothered to do that. Ow. Ow. All right, but anyways, it'll take a bit for us to get up the wall and start taking towers and such, so I will just bring you guys back as uh, once, I guess, these guys have stopped being killed and are taking the wall. Okay, guys, welcome back. 
I have to be honest, I actually forgot <laughs> that the, uh, the towers would actually fire on them. So, um, yeah. Basically, I had our mercenary swordsmen go as far as this gate and then come back, and they're now going to take the walls at least up to... Well, actually, I should probably have them go at least as far as that gate over there, just to make sure we take almost everything. Oh, the Ballista Towers are firing back. Well, I guess that makes sense. They can damage the gate. Maybe I should send in my troops after all, then. Um, let's have... Oh. Oh, that's right. They are destroying the actual Ballistas themselves, though, so I guess it's not that much of a threat. I mean, we should still start getting our troops in there anyways, though, because I think we'll have the Gondorian armsmen take the majority of the casualties. But we still will want, like, say, the axemen and, like, the wolf hunters to kind of go around. Actually, let's have the armsmen go in first. And then we will have these guys just kind of line up on the outside here. I guess we actually aren't going to have much use for our mercenary swordsmen. This isn't exactly a good place to have, uh, what do you call them? Cannon fodder? Oh, and since Lod is actually an infantry bodyguard, unlike uh, Waka's bodyguard, I think I'm actually going to have him participate as well, since his guys will just replenish anyways. Oh, shoot. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Get out of there. You're going to be shot. And, of course, my guys are immediately shot. Move. There we go. All right. That takes care of all of them. And we only lost two of the Condorian armsmen to our own ballista fire. All right, good. And everything has been taken on that side. So let's bring forward the armsmen to, let's just say, well... A little further back. Let's not tempt things too much. Actually, you can walk. And then we shall bring in the Nedwaith Axemen over here. And we'll have the Wolf Hunters actually go around, since they're a much speedier unit anyways. Oh, right. And we were going to have Chieftain's Guard in here as well. So let's say something like that that. All right, but um, once again, I think I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys go, since um, there's not really much else to see at the moment, and I'll just bring you guys back once battle is joined with the enemy. Where are you guys going? Stay back here. Stay back here. Good, good. All right, anyway, yes, I will bring you guys back. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we have Axemen over here, and we have the Wolf Hunters over here, and we have the Gondorian Armsmen plus the General's Bodyguard over here. So now we're going to have the Gondorian Armsmen move up, basically hopefully get them to attack them, and that way we can then just have the Wolf Hunters and the Axemen basically attack them throwing javelins and such. And there they go. Alright, we will also have Lod basically have his bodyguard tribute there as well. Alright. Alright, firing at will is not going to work. I guess I was kind of expecting that. Can you guys fire at them? You can. Alright, so let's grab all of these guys and open fire. Unless, of course, they're just not going to. That's, that's always a possibility. Stop. Ah, uh, what to do then if they're not actually going to throw their javelins? Well, I guess we'll just have to have our wolf hunters and stuff attack them then. Well, except we won't have the wolf hunters do it. You guys get over here. Why can't I click and drag? There we go. We'll have the Axemen actually do the attacking in the rear here. Wolf Hunters, get over here. 
mean, they mostly were, but I could see, like, one guy was kind of sticking out over there. Alright, let's just have those guys go ahead and try and throw their axes. They're not going to, I don't think. Nope. Alright, just charge in there, attack them from behind, kill them all. Alright, and now we can have the wolf hunters behind these guys. The intimidation factor I don't think is going to have much effect since they're in the center of the settlement anyways, but you can always have them join in if necessary. All right now, where is Lod? Okay, he is over there. He is somewhat protected from the fighting. Except he's already lost like 22 of his bodyguards? 23 of his bodyguards? How many did he have to start with? Was it 100? Well, if it was 100, it would be like 14. I mean, these guys are tough, and I kind of expected them to be, but still. It would have been nice if we were able to throw those axes and javelins into their backs. It's really annoying how sometimes that works, and then other times it just doesn't for no discernible reason. At least we had the Gondorian armsmen taking the brunt of the casualties there in the beginning while we were trying to get something to happen. We are slowly but surely chewing our way through them. Oh. Vlad is actually participating in the battle, but you know what? That's fine. If our generals are anything like the enemies, they should be able to take a hit or two, as well as deal out a hit or two. Eh, still, these guys are not dying at the speed I would like them to die at. Come on, Lod! Kill him! Kill him, Lod! I, I kind of don't want Lod to get in amongst so many enemies, even if he is hard to kill. Come on, kill them! All right, you know what? Lod, get out of there. Lod, get out of there. The enemy is slowly but surely being killed, but I'm not going to risk Lod himself, at least not too much. There's only 15 of them left, so these guys can finish them off. Oh, there's their captain! Come on, kill him! There's only seven of them left. He just slaughtered that axeman. Oh, there we go, their captain falls. Alright, where's the remaining? Okay, there's four of them left. There's two, three of them are over here. Oh, these are the remaining three. They're all right here. Kill them! Kill without mercy! There we go. <laughs> Hooray! Ow. Ow, 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 ow. I bet you we didn't get any healing either. Uh, we got a bit, I guess. Actually, most of it was among the mercenary swordsmen, who I would have been perfectly happy with dying. Oh well, back to the campaign map. Ooh. How lovely. Look at all the Dunedain we get to kill and all the money we get to take from their corpses. It's actually like about one Mirian per person, I can't help but notice. Really quickly, have we caused like 
terrible rebellions. Well, actually, I guess we haven't taken control of it yet. So let's go ahead and lay desolate. And then watch as public order remains quite high, actually. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Dol Amroth still looks good, as does Swan Fleet. Hopefully those aren't going to go down at all then. But now what are we going to do here? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I guess repairing this would cause happiness. A little extra happiness, anyways. Um, but before that, what we must do is destroy some buildings and stuff as well and see, oh, God, oh, if we destroy this Homeland Dominion building, it'll cripple public order here. Wow, even after slaughtering that many, we still have that many people still here. That's surprising to see. Wonder, oh, that's not even giving us the maximum public order. All right, well, I guess I'll have to figure out something because we do need the army to move on and go to Arnak. So we might need more mercenaries or something. Might be able to use some of the guys here to hold the place down. But anyway, that's actually going to be it for now. So I will just bring you guys back as more of interest occurs. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, just to quickly update you, uh, we did manage to stuff enough mercenaries from both regions into Pilargear to basically keep them happy. We also did repair the walls, which actually had a 10% public modifier, which actually made it just so that, um, what's, uh, it's not content. What is, when, when the face is blue, what is it called? It's called, uh, disillusion. They were disillusioned, so we could be able to prevent rebellion. And then when I hit end turn, presumably the walls were repaired, and that's why they're now up to content. So, um, that did come at a slight price, though, because basically Laud was only able to move on with his cavalry and some of the better infantry. Which should be enough to take Arnak when the time comes, to be honest, but um, he did have to leave most of his army behind and then stuff the place with some mercenaries. And actually, we took most of the garrison out of Lin here and stuffed it in there as well. But between all of that, we were able to keep the place uh, somewhat happy. I also did confirm it doesn't look like um, any public order issues started to arise from us taking Pilargear. And it occurred to me, I haven't destroyed the Dominion building. And the reason for that is because I noticed it has a public order modifier, a positive one, and I didn't want to destroy it quite yet. I know it greatly increases the cost of like constructing buildings, but... Restoring the walls cost basically nothing, and I don't even know if it affects that anyways. And I'm not going to build any buildings here anyways, so I'm just not worried about that for now. But since I don't have, like, rebellion or negative public order effects throughout my empire, I assume that having the Dominion building also means that it's, like, technically incorporated right now. Like, even though it's not my Dominion building, it's not causing the negative effects of... Uh, that overextension mechanic. So I think we might actually have to leave it in there for uh, maybe another turn or two, just long enough for Lynn here and these two settlements to be incorporated as well. All right, but anyway, we have a battle to fight against Adunabar, and it's going to be quite a doozy. They're bringing quite a lot of troops in two different armies. No real bad units there, to be honest, except for the cultists. Uh, hopefully we can just lay a bunch of arrows into those berserkers. That would be lovely. Then we have the reinforcements, which is kind of a mixed bag. I am a little worried about how many archers they have, if I'm being entirely honest. Almost to the point where I think I need to actually preserve my arrows for them. Well, actually, I guess I don't need to worry too much about the Snaga Hunters. They've only got like 18 guys. They've got a lot of woodman bow levies. I mean, that missile attack, let's see, 12? Oh, wait, I can't see what I've got. I'm, mine, mine's higher, but at the same time, again, that's just a lot of arrows to have to uh, take. So I might have to save my arrows for them when the reinforcements arrive. All right, but anyway, let's get right into the battle then. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. So, 
good news. I had forgotten that this was one of those battlefields where the archers, like, couldn't really fire fully across the river. Which means I think we can actually not worry too much about the archers that are coming to reinforce the enemy. Because they shouldn't be able to hit us, and so they'll have to actually cross. Which means we can just kill them in melee. Or at least I hope that's how that will go. Standard procedure otherwise, we basically have the general's bodyguard sticking out a bit on this side. And we're slightly back from the fort just to make sure that... Uh, we don't have any pathfinding issues as we try to retreat, and we have the wolf hunters lined up behind them to throw javelins and archers on the flanks. So we actually will use our arrows on the uh, berserkers, and just, I guess, other units as they try and cross here. Hopefully the enemy will try to cross this side of the ford in its entirety, and not send units along the other ford, though depending on which units they send, that might not be a problem. Like, if they send some of the, like, half-destroyed units, or maybe some of those bowmen, we could always have our cavalry peel off and eliminate them. Or even the cultists. If they send the cultists across, we could just have our cavalry peel off and deal with them. What I don't want to see is, like, Swords of the Shadow, or a full unit of berserkers or something try and cross. That would be unfortunate. We would have to probably use up some of our wolf's oathmen to go over there and let them have it. But it does look like... Oh. Oh. I spoke too soon. Here come some archers. Though they are archers, so that's not the end of the world. Alright, let's have the riders just kind of line up right here. And we'll charge into them as they get across. Oh, are those spearmen coming as well? The champions? Or those guys? No, no. They are heading... To the rest of the army over there. Okay, so it's just that one unit of archers. That's fine. We can run them down and kill them. Mercenaries. Mercenaries. Um, I should have my archers step forward. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've made a slight mistake here. I think we can move a little closer because this, this, like, blackened area here is also, like, area you can walk on, so we can probably just move up just a bit. And then we can fire on these guys once they get within range. Come on, just a little bit closer. Okay, good. Fire there. You guys also fire there. You guys... War cry. Okay, that was like the wimpiest, most pathetic charge I have ever seen. You guys get over here. And then charge them in the back there. Okay, the arrows are flying thick and fast. Yeah, they are wavering. Very good. That's what we want to see. Hey, okay, stop firing for now, because I actually want some of these units to come forward and be shot. Oh, here, fire on those Alakai, and that should get some good kills back there. Oh, are my javelins? Don't fire. Here, you guys actually get a little closer. Then I think we actually might have them fire. Okay, you guys stop. Fire on these bowmen levies in the back. Whoa, wait a minute. The general's bodyguard is like... Sticking out a fair bit. Um, get back here. Okay, now you guys go ahead and fire. 
warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same way. Okay, javelins are firing. That's good. Okay, those guys are broken. Very good. All right. You guys get over here and make sure they continue to run. Come on. Everyone get within range. All right, there we go. Fire right into the berserkers there. All right, those guys are broken as well. Very good. But you guys turn around here. Okay, you guys get over here and kill them or make sure that they continue to run at least. Excellent. The slaughter is very great. Yes, continue to charge after them. You guys get back over here, though. All right, the javelins are being thrown still as well, or at least some of them are. Well, I guess the enemies aren't really approaching us very much, are they? All right, you guys kind of pull back here, to be honest. You're kind of a little too much amongst the enemy, and I can see your pathfinding is already mucking up here. So get over here. Oh, the archers are out of ammo. So you guys just kind of... Well, actually... You get over here. And you guys... Get over here. You guys aren't in guard mode or something, are you? Okay, no. All right, let's actually pull back now because, to be honest, it seems to be hard to get the wolf hunters to throw at anyone. Uh, let's see, let's get our general's bodyguard back here as well. All right, pull back, pull back, pull back. Right now, we'll pull the wolf's oathman back as well. They can finish crossing the river here. Um, let's see. We still have javelins among these three units here, but hold your fire for a bit here. In fact, actually, we'll have the bodyguard back here. Let's charge these bowman levies, since I can't help but notice that they seem to be not coming forward. Come on, charge in this direction, and then turn around, because actually you're getting far too close to a bunch of enemies. All right. I don't want them to think that they can flank around, which is kind of what it looked like they were trying to do, and I really just don't want them to do that. The Grim Spears are over there. There will be no flanking here. Alright, throw some javelins at them.
should be able to kill a few of them there like that. Um, let's see. We'll have the cavalry just kind of sit over here for now. To be honest, we can have the archers just basically kill these guys. All right, we've used up all of our javelins. All right, you know what? We're just kind of pouring across here, and I'm not sure this is really to our benefit anymore to just let them go. All right, let's bring up the wolf hunters. Make sure our general stays up here. Bring up the wolf hunters on this side as well. Where do you think you guys are going? Here, let's get the wolf hunters maybe over there. Let's have this unit right here. Oh, um, no, 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 guys. Don't pass through the melee in order to get over there. Okay, where are you guys going? Get over there. Get after them. They appear to be going for our archers. Okay, actually, cavalry just kind of sit over there for a bit. Okay, no, no, turn around, turn around. Kill these guys. All right, Wolf Hunters, let's just commit you to the battle since there's definitely fighting to do there. All right, attack those guys in the rear. Wavering broken. All right, that's what we wanted to see over there. All right, fight the Adunabar Macemen. You guys actually line up over here and attack this bunch from the side. You guys get back over here and kill the Berserkers. These guys are broken. All right. Attack on this side here. General, get up here. You guys, attack in the side. The warlord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him. Goats make good eating. Well, that's good. But don't actually eat the enemy commander. You guys get over here. Cavalry... Where's my other cavalry unit? I should have another one. Oh, right. You went chasing... You chased the Alakai off the battlefield. All right. Well, come here and go get those guys. All right. Get in there and let them have it. And those guys are not clean. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just said, those guys aren't running, and then suddenly they all start running. Oh, nice. So sweet, so fair. All right. Um, let's turn around here. All right, have you killed everyone that you could kill over here? I think so, because that one guy is probably going to get away. Yeah. He's too close to the edge, and I don't really have time to micromanage you, because we have more important things. Oh. You guys actually killed them all on your own. I still think this guy will get away, though. The enemy army runs. But yeah, he got away. Alright, um, I still see that there are enemies back here, though. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to catch them, though there's only five of them left. Alright, anyone else? You know, it looks like these are the last of them. Yep, and they're going to make it off the battlefield. I'm sitting on the edge of the battlefield right here. 
You live for today, but there's always tomorrow for more Dunedain to be killed. Um, that, that is everyone, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that should be the end of the battle, right? Seriously, is there someone else? This is a little... Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know. I guess maybe there was, like, another guy still around somewhere, and... Because I was looking at these guys, they seem to be moving around here, so... Maybe that orc champion ran into the back of them and they killed him? Maybe? Alright, those casualties are actually excellent, I guess, considering how many enemies we were fighting. And boy, did we manage to slaughter them in the, the water here. Definitely got heavy use out of our archers here. And it's a good thing I did use them up rather than having them try and like hold back for the enemy archers because the enemy archers did just cross the river as we kind of expected them to. I'm pretty sure this crossing is pretty easy to fire across with ballistas and other siege equipment though. So I think it's only archers that will really give us that sort of advantage here. All right, so now let's take a look. Casualties, of course, among the guardsmen were healed and among no one else, really. Just minor healing here and there. Great! Spectacular. That's definitely what we want to see. Wow, the slaughter was very great. Actually, the chieftain's guard, I mean, wow, we, they really just... <laughs> They really did kill most, or quite a bit of the enemy. And they're tied for the highest kills with this unit of Wolf's Oathmen. Though that Axis of the Wolf unit isn't far behind. Alright, but anyway, let's take this back to the campaign map. Oh boy! Looks like Ebba is going to be attacked. And I believe this is actually a force that got brought in from over here. Wow, actually, the amount of troops over here has greatly diminished. I mean, they still have a bunch of troops, but it's not like multiple stacks of forces like there used to be. All right, but Ebba is under attack. We'll make sure to make good use of our mercenary swordsmen as cannon fodder. Let's see, how many archers have they got? One, two, three units of archers. Go up. All right, there we go. Four units of archers. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's actually quite a lot of archers. Though the orc hunters aren't the best. Still will want to slaughter them all without mercy. I don't see any tower guard or anything, but of course they have the now ever-present Olaghai. Like seriously, how many of these guys can they actually like afford and train? Can't they only be trained at like the uh the forts? Or not forts, what are they called? Um, they're like, um, like the, these keeps here, and, uh, I think there's another one, yeah, over there. They're like special, like, orc holds, I guess, that are somewhere here in Mordor, I assume. Alright, but anyway, I guess the rest of it is more or less what we expect. Cult a mix of, like, weak units, good units, and great units. So... Down to the battlefield we go. Okay, guys. Welcome to the battle. Alright, let's prepare... Or not prepare. Let's open fire. Are you guys... Oh, okay, there we go. For a minute there, I was like, why aren't you guys within range? Surely you should be by now. I right, just take out as many of the archers as we can. Standard procedures are in play over here, of course, except we're using up our mercenary swordsmen. In fact, um, you know what? I'm gonna shift a little bit over so that the bodyguard and the mercenary swordsmen take most of the fire. Oh, 
Okay, fire over there now. You guys fire over here now. Actually, we'll have the two units in the middle fire on these guys here, just so that we can pick off some of those guys there, too. It's not good. They have an almost equal number of archers to ourselves, which is unfortunate. And in fact, let's actually target these units, since they're just a lot fuller right now. Looks like we are going to get some return fire, though, because I think they're going to start shooting here in a minute. Oh boy, here comes the Alakai. And of course, they are now targeting our wolf hunters, as is tradition. Come on, guys, slaughter those archers. And actually, uh, the wolf hunters can go ahead and start throwing. They do seem to be struggling to actually finish off the archers, which is a little unfortunate. Oh, they're broken! Okay, you guys stay here, though. Stay here! Don't, don't go anywhere! Um, let's see. Cavalry unit. Pursue them. Okay, the archers are mostly taken out, but um, quite a lot of them are still alive. Also, we didn't manage to use up a lot of our arrows on the enemy. Oh, crap. Get out of there, get out of there. Why is the general's bodyguard taking so many casualties? Okay, um, let's pull the archers back, actually. Hey, seriously, is the general's bodyguard out of there yet? Okay. Um, let's actually get the Wolf Hunters back now as well. Alright, General's Bodyguard, get back here, please. Alright, and let's pull these guys back as well. Everyone get back. Hey, seriously, how are there still men in there? Get, move, get a move on. Oh crap, the Alakai came back. Or at least one of the Alakai units did. Okay, now they're broken again. Where's that other cavalry unit? Get over here and pursue them. Okay, we still have a few arrows left, so let's just have them fire, I guess, right into the Swords of the Shadow there, since they're just kind of all the enemies bunched up there. Nice and neat. You guys can get over here. Where's that other cavalry unit? Alright, get over here. And actually get after those Alakai as well, since the other cavalry unit is not able to really hold them off. All right, the archers are out of ammo, so I guess just stay here. Look intimidating. Um, where are you guys going? Oh, shoot. Of course. Oh, wait, they're broken now. All right, kill, kill, kill without mercy. Though their falling bodies might kill a couple of you. That's unfortunate, but... Hey, seriously, get in there and kill them. And you guys get back here and kill them as well. Oh, and I guess you guys charge in there and save the, the shadow. Or the... Not the shadow, the, uh... 
Axis of the Wolf. Okay, let's have these guys kind of pull in over here. And we'll have one of the wolf hunters over here. Okay, cavalry unit is pulling forward. Okay, wavering, but I kind of want them to actually die, not just waver. Alright, you guys see if you can get any of them. What kind of units have they got back here? Okay, weak units is the answer to that question. So let's see if we can get our... Ac or actually, no. Oh, of course, the archers are now firing at us. Okay, you guys, tack over here. Okay, good. Now you guys get over here. The cavalry just kind of pull back over there somewhere. You guys attack from the side there. Okay, there we go. Lovely routing going on here. Enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our warriors would die rather than run. Okay, you guys get up there and help. Let's get these guys forward. Okay, they're broken. Okay, well in that case, get over here. Alright, they're broken, so I guess just kill them and let them have it. You guys attack here, 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 here. Kill those Uruk swords. Okay, they are broken, but they have nowhere to run. So pull off there. You guys also pull back just a bit. Alright, there we go. Now they can run. The enemy commander is dead. That is good. Here, you guys kill them. Everyone else just kind of get out of there. Alright, anyone else? Obviously the archers are already retreating, and we did inflict quite a few casualties on them, so I guess that's fine, but they did manage to kill a lot of us as well, or a decent number of us, I think. All right, anyone else? I do not see any enemies over here, but once again, there seems to be a bit of a delay on the end here, so maybe there is like a, a single... Oh, oh, actually, these guys, I think, haven't finished crossing yet. Oh, actually, I think they just crossed. Yeah, there we go. It was them. They just needed to finish crossing. All right, well, that's not too bad. And okay, so the casualties that healed were not amongst the Chieftain's Guard, except for one guy, so hooray. We got back some wolf hunters, actually mostly wolf hunters, and some mercenary swordsmen. All right, the casualties are piling up a bit, though. We might actually lose an... Well, actually, I guess we probably won't lose another Dunlending Guardian unit, but... Casualties are starting to pile up a bit here. I mean, the Dunabar casualties obviously are piling the most, but they always have more, so that's not as big a deal for them. So anyway, let's take this back to the campaign map. Victory indeed, but it looks like a Dunabar is not finished. They're now attacking Karda. Actually, I think that means that each of our three fronts will have been attacked by the enemy this turn. How oh, nice. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. That is not the most uh, stunning force that Adunabar has ever thrown at us. 
Uh, actually, quite a bit of this is levies. And they do have a few good units in there. They've got, like, these Uruks, Uruks over here. But still, hmm, hmm. I think they're trying to go for numbers over quality there, and I don't think it's going to work out for them, regardless of what the auto-resolve seems to think. But anyway, into the battle we go. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. Obviously, the archers will not be able to fire at each other across the fort, so it will be a standard procedure now for this type of battlefield, where we just fire on the enemy as they cross. I guess that means we don't need to worry too much about how many archers they have, because if we can't fire at them, they can't fire at us either. So they would be forced to cross. Let's see, it looks like they may have a unit or two ready to cross on this side. We do have a Warhound unit over there just to distract them. Keep them busy while the main force crosses. Speaking of which, here they come. You know, I sometimes wonder, why does the AI sometimes form its whole army into a column and then have them cross? But then at other times, they'll just... You know, like, basically start crossing more or less immediately. Actually, here, just kind of get over here, and then we'll wait till they're, like, halfway or so across. Actually, we can probably have these guys open fire a lot sooner. Okay, once the levees get... All right, there we go. Go ahead and fire a few volleys at them there. Okay, you guys can now go ahead and attack them. You guys can go ahead and attack them. I was going to say, and by attack them, I mean you send your war dogs at them. You guys retreat back here. Alright, we'll have them start throwing the axes, and we'll have the archers fire on the cultists here. Okay, you guys get it over here. You guys get over here. Trainers, I mean. Oh, those guys are routing. That's why they're doing that. Um, archers. Oh, okay, so the war dogs are kind of just amongst everyone here. Oh, archers, whatever you're doing, stop it. Fire on the Berserkers. Archers stop firing now, because I think, um... Oh, these guys are still trying to put up a fight here. Alright, you know what? Maybe what we should do then is let's actually pull back. Pull back the Axemen, pull back the Archers. And let's see, let's get the bodyguard back here as well, of course. Wolf, all the wolf units get over here. All right, we should put all these guys in guard mode as well so they don't actually move.
fire into the woodman's back there. Okay, how are things going over here? Uh, not too good, not too bad. Oh, they still have quite a lot of guys back there, actually. All right, let's unleash the rest of the war dogs. The archers are no longer firing. I guess fire on those guys there. All right, there we go. The war dogs have been fully unleashed now. now let's make sure the trainers stay back here. The archers, fire on those berserkers there, actually. Right, we're just about out of arrows on this side. Those guys are broken. All right, the dogs are still fighting, but they're definitely going to lose eventually. I'll have to deal with that when the time comes. All right, and we have no more arrows. So, get out of guard mode, get out of loose formation. Uh, let's have, we can have these archers kind of sit over here. Ready to kill off enemies. Which, um... <laughs> the War Dogs have defeated the enemy and are now pursuing across the river. Which I guess means we could focus a bit on these guys, couldn't we? Oh, um... Once again, let's make sure the trainers are not really leaving. Oh, um, we also seem to have some war dogs who are stuck amongst the axemen here, so let's just move a bit to allow them to be unleashed. <laughs> nice that they're being chewed up by the war dogs over there. All right, let's pull off, say, two units of the Axemen over here to basically take out... Well, actually... Oh, we had more War Dogs among them, too. What we'll do is, is we'll just pull the smallest unit off here for now, just to make sure the Spearmen don't get the jump on us. And we could probably have the Cavalry assist them, even if they are Uruk Guard. The Rittermark mercenaries are pretty heavy armor, so... As long as we have, like, an infantry unit to do the initial engagement, we'll probably be fine. Are the archers retreating? They actually might be. Alright, let's have the Axemen... Form up like right there should be fine. Uh, we'll have these guys just kind of sit over here for now. All right, how are things going? Looks like the war dogs are about to be killed. Probably on both sides. Yeah, it looks like they're about to be killed. Oh, these guys are actually retreating as well. Well, routing. Ah, but these guys are not. They are going to charge across. I would say good luck. That would be a waste of perfectly good luck. Right here, we'll have them... Actually, you know what? That's probably close enough. We don't have any more axes to throw either, so... 
little bit more forward. Just a little bit. We're still far back enough from the four that it should be fine. Wavering, wavering. Broken, broken, wavering, wavering. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Bring the archers a little closer. We can have them directly just attack these guys as they flee. Actually, why don't you just stand stand there and kill them as they flee from there, and we'll have the cavalry back here as well, basically doing the same thing. All right? Is anyone standing and fighting? It doesn't look like it. All right, go after the cultists. Even though I know you won't be able to. Right here, you guys just kind of get over here. Kill them as they as they run into you. At least I hope that's what will happen. Alright, what's happening with the Uruk Guard over here? Okay, they're still fighting the last of the war dogs. Oh, okay, I guess those guys managed to get through. Alright, kill that one guy. Right over here. Let's see if we can intercept a few more of them. Though I think um, we managed to kill quite a few of them quite easily, I think. Oh, um, why don't we bring all of the Axemen over here now? Since presumably those Uruk guards will be finished with that one dog soon. And then they will finish crossing. And we could just use our Axemen to kill them all. Right, how are you guys doing back here? Uh, you guys seem to be letting them through. Right, it looks like one cultist and one berserker got away. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But not the end of the world. Okay, they're just not going to succeed in killing that dog, are they? I'm not sure what the hang-up here is, though. Oh. Oh. Enemies floating down the river there. Oh, finally. I think they... Yes, I think they did kill him. And that dog was tenacious. Alright, let's... Let's form up the Axemen over here. And let's get cavalry over here. And actually, we might as well get Carta over here as well. The archers just kind of stand out of the way, along with the trainers over there. Okay, uh, admittedly, they seem to be taking the most roundabout route possible to get onto dry land here. I bet you they'll route basically immediately, though. So let's just get our guys forward here. Like, seriously, the moment they hit... Oh, there they go. See, how do you propose we do that? I guess what we could do is have one of the Axemen units kind of charge forward there. Because <laughs> they don't seem to actually be leap. Well, okay, some of them seem to be leaving. Okay, we do need to be somewhat careful, though. Because we don't want our infantry to just kind of die. 
Get over there and just kill anyone who tries to come up on a dry land. Cavalry, get over here. Okay, where are you guys going? Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, fine. You guys, step forward. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes here. Um, the battle is basically won, of course, at this point, but it's a little tedious here trying to kill off this last unit. So what I'll do is, is I'll just finish up here, and I will bring you guys back once we get to the end of battle screen. Okay, so that was a little weird there, trying to get them to get out of the water there. That's strange. We did take some casualties among the Axemen, at least two there. Does that, does that mean it... I'm looking because they the enemy somehow has zero kills. And I mean, they killed a lot of war dogs, but of course we'll get them back, so we're not worried about that. What I'm a little curious on, though, is we did lose two Axemen. And they didn't get healed. So, did the archers shoot them? Did they hit each other with axes? I guess maybe they hit each other with axes or something, like units were too close together, or the enemy was too close, or something like that. All right, but anyway, we had two casualties then. Didn't heal, but that's fine. To be honest, um, this was quite an overwhelming victory in terms of both the dead and the casualties we sustained while inflicting all those casualties. The archers obliterated them. The warhounds obliterated them. The X-Men did a bit of damage. Not a lot. but Well, not a lot compared to the others, um, but still a decent amount. And, of course, the Rittermark did a bit of damage there at the end. All right, but anyway, back to the campaign map. All right, and so here we are back on the campaign map after the end turn was finished. Again, it looks like we were attacked on basically all sides by a Dunabar, but every attack was repulsed on every front, and they are now greatly diminished. Though, again, still having many troops in, to in total. I mean, even over here, they still have almost a whole... Well, no, actually, that's almost a half stack rather than almost a full stack. I wonder, is it about time... Yes, we have one turn left before Waldberg, Easthold, and Lynn here are finished here. Uh, getting their Dominion buildings, I mean. Captain. So maybe it's time for us to start pushing through, because obviously these guys aren't about to take a settlement, so we could have them maybe attack and get across the river here. Yes. Not much, I think, is going to happen down here. But anyway... I have a few things on the campaign map before the next battle commences, but I do think we need to start pushing into their territory and uh, finish off the campaign here, because we only have three settlements left, and we're going to take Arnak, so that means there's only two left. And I think probably going to be Lathron and the Greenwood Watch here. As you can see, the Rohirrim have been building up their garrison, which we definitely don't want to leave that as it is. But anyway, I will just bring you guys back as more adventures to curse.